Hello, hello. Finally, uh, Tesla has pushed the 4.5 version firmware for my car. Uh, I'm still on my delivery 4.4, but uh, we just got last night the little alarm clock up here. It wants to schedule the software update. So I'm going to show the process. Man. I think I might have to get a regular camera. iPhone's not working out too well anymore. That day, okay. Software update. There's a new version of your Tesla Model S software. Schedule installation now. Install now or close window to postpone. Um, I've just been closing the window and postponing it. Uh, I suppose I will do it now. During the update process, you will not be able to drive the vehicle or use the touch screen. The update will take up to two hours the car must be in park. We are in park. Install now. During the update you will not be able to drive the vehicle. Software update will start in 1 minute 54 seconds. See, I will record it on the other camera the whole process. And there we have it. Software update 2 4.5 is completed. New feature, supercharger location. That means the superchargers will be listed on the map. Uh, we've got uh, visited charger. shows you all the locations where you have visited to charge. Convenient if you uh, find that hidden charging port or outlet somewhere that was very convenient and you've got to find your way back to it. Uh, charge limits have been changed, so there's no standard and range charge anymore. Now there is only... trip and then there's a slider to select the uh, the percentage as low as 50% of your battery's total charge. Uh, there's apparently been some enhancements to maps, contact sorting, front defrost mode, battery support, improved battery heating. Uh, let's just read some of the comments. Um, I'll do you're welcome to pause the video to actually read this. I'm not going to read everything that's on the uh, new release. So just pause the video and you can read the uh, text. Oh, enhancements map. Oh, that looks interesting. Street labels on maps viewed in two times magnific magnification are displayed in larger, higher resolution font. Context sorting. New front defrost mode. Now, uh, before it was heat only for defrosting the front windshield, uh, the front defrost control located next to the left of the climate control button now offers two distinct settings, normal and max. One tap turns the icon blue and enables normal defrost, which maintains the current temperature and fan speed. Two taps turn the icon red and enable max defrost, the standard behavior previously available in the Model S. Okay, so blue doesn't mean air con cold defrost. Uh, blue means uh, low, and then the red is the old normal, which is high. Save you some battery juice if you don't need that much uh, defrosting support. Battery support when the Model S is plugged in but not actively charging. It will draw energy from the wall rather than using energy stored in the battery. Example, when you've turned on climate con control to cool or heat the cabin, or when you're sitting in your car and using the touch screen while parked. That'll save some vampire loads, not much though. Improved battery heating. Battery heating when charging on low wall power grid connection has been improved to ensure the battery does not discharge due to, to heat itself. 
that will be nice for those of you that are charging on 110 outlets uh, in, or in an area where uh, there's not much, you know, many choices for high powered 1450 outlets, etc., etc. Not too bad. Version 4.5. Let's see, what's my set charge limit? Now, whereas on version 4.4, 4, uh, you had range, which is now trip, and then standard, which is now daily. And you can adjust the percentage down to about 50% lowest, all the way up to, of course, 100%. Uh, this line right here where it switches from daily to trip, that would be the approximate equivalent of the old standard charge. Standard charge before, though, was about 92 or 93% of your full battery. Now, uh, the line for uh, uh, your daily charge, which is uh, the equivalent of standard, uh, is only is 90%. So you might see some immediate decrease in your standard range charge. Should be the same for the maximum charge, but on standard charge, uh, you, you'll see a two to three percent decrease in your daily range so I'll say if you were at 190 miles on a standard charge you should see about 187, 186 ish which kind of sucked because I always liked having somehow it always worked out just right with the old range we'll see Let's see what happens here so right now I'm just plugged into a Sandrift's uh, front sign on a 110. Um, you know, I, I'm doing a standard charge. I didn't have much to go, plus I wanted to do the uh, software update where I could keep an eye on it. I'm right outside the main office here, so perfect. That and I was I was letting it do uh, like a uh, charge uh, ba uh, battery battery balanced type charge. If you do that at a lower amperage so no let it let her go on a 110 we're at 12 amps one hour 10 minutes I got a I got a long ways to go before no I'm, I'm not leaving the Dells until tomorrow morning so I'm gonna be doing a NEMA 1450 charge tonight anyways but I was I was I had planned in two hours as it said for a software update So, yeah, if you had the kids, let's see, favorites. Okay, my favorites are all still there. Oh, is air conditioning on? I don't want air conditioning. 65 degrees out. Web left off right where it was, so it doesn't appear that anything was really uh, affected. So, all right, well, we'll see what happens. I'll keep you guys updated on, uh, oh, maps. There we go. Saw this on my friend's car. Uh, superchargers that will locate uh, available superchargers. Let's do this again. And visited chargers. All the places I have plugged in. Wait a second. 
That's strange. That is the Villa Park Service Center. That's where my car was serviced. I've never been here with my car. Let's see what that is. It's 160 miles from here, so I guess I could make it there. If that is correct, 160 miles, it seems like it should be further than that. Uh-huh. Oh. Could that be? That just might be a Tesla shipping station where my car came into Illinois before it shipped back out to me. I wonder if it'd have the, uh, come on, internet in Wisconsin Dells here is extraordinarily slow, oh wow, not quite what I wanted, I didn't want a world frickin' map. Let's turn off visited charge, uh, superchargers. So it doesn't have California. My car was never charged in California at the factory. At least not as a complete car. Well, then that leaves me to wonder. Let's turn off visited chargers and turn on superchargers. Should be normal Illinois. Yep. Can't wait until we got one that says Milwaukee and Madison and then the Lynn in Chicago. Alright, well there we have it. Just playing with some of the updates here. Yep, there's home. That is Nissan. That's my favorite AAA free station. And there's my shop. Shop, home, Nissan, AAA. Oh, and that's Discovery World by uh, Summerfest Fairgrounds. Charged during Festa Italiana. <laughs> Crazy, hey? It was nice. Worked out nice because uh, Festa Italiana. Uh, parking for the festival was 10 bucks, or you could park for free at a charging station for 2 bucks an hour. Or not park for free, but you could use the charging station. So for 2 bucks an hour, because they didn't charge me to have to go to the charging station, I could stay as long as I want, as long as I was plugged in. So, I was at Festa for 3 hours, so it was 2 4 $6.00. Saved four bucks, I, and I got a car charge in my car. It was slower than heck. It's only getting like 14 miles per hour, but it worked. See you guys next video.